Hi, this is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and what I have here is a cigar box guitar neck that I made completely from scrap wood. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to take this neck and build a three-string cigar box guitar fretless slider primitive style. Let me tell you a little bit about how I built this neck. This neck was built from a couple strips of poplar, which you can see the different pieces of wood here. And I planed them down and glued them together, but it wasn't that thick, so I added a piece of maple to the top. And then I planed that down and made it three quarters of an inch thick, and then planed the sides down to make it an inch and a half which would be the size of your standard one by two that you would get from the big box stores. Then I just added a scarf joint to the end and that is the neck we're gonna use. And if you were wondering about my hat, which is a upside down cowboy boot, which looks like the state of Florida, it's a Florida cracker thing. These birds just love to be in the video. Go ahead, sing it again. See, what I tell you. This is the box I'm going to be using for this build, this Avo box right here. You'll see I have it marked with the center line here and the center here. Also, the center line here and marking the center line here. Now my neck is 33 inches long and I'm going to do this on a 23 inch scale. Now you'll see right here I do have it marked for the nut right there. So I'm going to put 23 inches right at the middle of the nut right there. You can see that. Lighting is not too good in here. 23 inches right there and right here is the end of 23 inches which will be where my bridge is going to go. So I am going to take my little pencil and mark right there where the bridge is. Now I want the guitar neck to sit probably about right like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark under the neck here where the end of the box is. Right there. It's not straight, but I get the idea. So what I'm going to do now is round this over on both sides to make it a nice curved neck. I am going to use a router to round over this neck here on the bottom here. And you can see where I drew the line where the box is going. And I actually come over a little bit on that side of the neck there and here so I could see where the box goes to. And I'm going to run the router from right here at the scarf joint to right there where the box goes on both sides. And I'm using a half inch router bed. I'm going to take the neck here and I'm just going to put it on the end of my work table here and I'm going to clamp it down on this side and on this side and run the router right here. And I'll flip it over. And do the other side. And there you go. And I will clean that up with the orbital sander.
looks good. Now the end of the guitar neck is very square right there. And for this build, I'm going to want to round this over on the end just for looks. And I'm going to use my Shinto rasp. Now I'm going to smooth that out a little bit with the sander. Just like that. Now on this guitar here, the strings are going to be going through the end of the guitar neck right here. And the way I marked that was, since my neck is an inch and a half wide, I marked right in the middle, which was three quarters of an inch, and put a dot. And then I marked a half inch on either side of the center and put another dot and I will drill holes right there for the three string ferrules. Now I will drill these three holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit all the way through the end of the neck. I also have the holes marked here for the three tuners, so I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes out for those as well. Well, we have our holes drilled for our string ferrules, for the end of the strings. We have our holes cut for our tuners. Now I'm going to notch this out for the nut, which is going to be this little screw right there. And you can see I have it marked where I'm going to notch it out. And what I'm going to use to do that is my made in Sheffield, England fretting saw with the depth gauge, which I will tell you is one of the most handiest tools in the shed. If you want any information on this, I will leave a link to this in the description below. Here I just make a series, well, about two or three little slits between the two lines that I have drawn for my nut. And then I will just take a chisel and just twist it out on both sides. Clean that up with a little file and there's my nut slot. And you clean that little slot out there with a little file and some sandpaper and there is your nut. Now since this is going to be a fretless guitar, I'm not going to put anything on the fretboard. No markings at all. I'm just going to put markings on the top of the neck here because when you're playing and looking down, you really can't see the front of the fretboard unless you really hang your head over like that, which is very uncomfortable. But if you're just looking down, you will see the top of the, uh, of the neck, and I will have the markings there. And to do that, I'm going to use a 23-inch template. Here's my 23-inch template, and I got this at cbgiddy.com, obviously. And this is the side that the player would see right there so what I'm going to do is just lay it on top of it just like this and I'm going to probably go about 22 frets and I'm just going to put a little line where every fret is just like that 
Now that I have all the lines marked for my frets, I'm just going to hit it with the soldering iron. Now that I have the fret lines burnt in here, now I'm going to put side dot position markers. Well, this neck looks good so far, but I think it needs a little color. So we're going to go with some honey stain. While that neck's drying, how about a couple sound holes in this thing? When I'm drilling a sound hole in a box, I always put a little piece of wood on the inside so I don't put a mark with my drill in case it goes through all the way on the bottom of the box. Like that. There's one. If you're still watching this video, that tells me two things. Number one, you like cigar box guitars. Yeah, you like them. Don't tell me you don't. I know you do. And number two, you like cigar box guitar building videos. If that's the case, why don't you subscribe to this fine quality channel? And please ring that bell so YouTube says, hey, come take a peek. This guy just posted a new video. And please give this video a thumbs up. If you do, the YouTube fairy will probably put a dollar under your pillow. <laughs> now, let's get back to putting this guitar together. Well, I have the neck all ready to go. It's stained. I have the fret markers and the little dot markers. I also have the little string ferrules in the end. Now, these little string ferrules, what I use here are these little rivets. I just knock that bottom piece off and add them to the little holes so it doesn't tear up the wood when you put the strings through. And also I have the tuners. Now let's check out the box. Here's the box with the sound holes. I cleaned them up nice and the box is all ready and I know what some of you are thinking. Hey Michael, when are you going to cut the notch out for the neck? Well, that's the primitive part, because this neck is going on top of the box. Ooh. Now, let me show you what I've done to the inside of the box lid, where the neck is going to be attached. I glued a couple pieces of maple here and here to make it a little more sturdy for the screws to go through the top of the box and into the neck. I've already drilled the holes and I got these little toothpicks in there just to kind of hold it in place and I'm going to put the screws in right now. And there we go. Well, here's what it looks like. Front and back. Now, I think we're going to string it up and tune it up. Now, this was a very fun and easy build. It's something you could knock out in a few hours, depending on how elaborate you want to do your neck. Uh, this one is just acoustic, but it would take nothing to put a jack in the back and throw a piezo pickup on the inside if you wanted to make it electric. Still sounds pretty loud. And I have it tuned to an open G. And let's see what it sounds like.
My name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.